Good morning. A short video about what to do when your system's not working well and you want to reset it. Uh, most people that are watching this video probably are using laptops. Uh, there's some that use desktops like I do, but most of us are using laptops these days. Um, something that's really cool about these laptops and even some desktops you buy from uh, commercial vendors as opposed to making them like, like I put my own together is they have a feature to reset the laptop. So this is actually built into Windows 10 now as well, where um, you can either use the factory one from Dell or HP or wherever you're getting your laptop, or you can use a Windows reset in Windows 10. And it's actually pretty easy to do. There's some instructions here on how to geek. I really like this site for uh, technology tips. You go to update and security, you say recovery, you say let's get started, and it asks you, do you wanna keep your files, your documents and um, your personal things that you created on the system or remove everything. Just note, it's going to reset everything. Uh, you're not gonna have your software installed. You're gonna to have to reinstall the software that didn't come with the machine, etc. But often this is something you need to do. My son's laptop was having problems with a webcam. I futzed around with it, it didn't work. So I just thought, well, we'll go ahead and reset. Um, it allowed the option of keeping files, so I did that. But I had a backup first. Make sure you have a backup before you do anything major. Actually, make sure you always have a backup. I should probably talk about that more for an ed tech, um, ed tech video. And that's about it. I also recommend if you're going to sell your laptop, do this. Okay, reset it to factory. And then when you sell your laptop, you're not giving all of your files over to the next person. Um, same thing on Mac. You can do this as well on a Mac. Uh, you can do a factory reset of the Mac, you just restart your computer, and then you hit Command R on boot, and it'll throw you into this utilities. You can go to disk utility, and you can say, let's wipe this disk. And then you can go ahead and reinstall Mac OS, kind of the same procedure. Or if you're handing it off to someone else who's buying a new laptop, you might want to just leave it like that. Um, so there's your options. Um, I, again, remember, make sure you have a backup and all that. Even on Linux, if you buy System76 Linux, which has laptops and desktops for sale, they offer the same thing. You can you can just reset your Linux, which is nice. It's a commercial provider of a Linux uh, laptop and desktop and me and service systems. Uh, they are the ones giving support for Pop OS. Um, myself, personally, I when I'm running Linux, um, this is Windows I'm running on today, but in my Linux setup, I have a separate drive or at least a separate partition where my data is, my slash home. Really good idea, because then if I ever need to reinstall or I just feel like I'm gonna change distributions, my home directory just stays there. Again, always have backups, constant backups, because if you mess it up, you lose your files on that drive and it's okay, because you got backups, right? Right? I hope so. All right, so that's about it for today. Again, um, I'm looking to get to a, a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. It's kind of a goal. I want to see if I can make that. Um, subscribe if you find it useful. Uh, all it does is it changes when you look at YouTube. It might show my videos because you're subscribed to them. The other thing that's important, if you, if you want to get alerted when there's new videos, hit that alarm bell and then it will let you know when I have a new video released. Your choice, do that if you want to or not. Um, what I think is more important is down below in the comments or contact me via Twitter or Facebook or email or phone me if you have my phone number um, and, and you're a personal friend, but tell me what, what kind of videos should I record for these kind of sessions and uh, I'd be happy to do that. I believe it was Israel, I, I can't remember right offhand, I'd have to, I should look it up, but he asked uh, editing videos. So how do I take different videos I recorded, splice them together, cut them up, chop some pieces off, maybe even put some simple transitions. So I'm definitely gonna do one of those, but I uh, look forward to recommendations so that I can do something that's useful for you. Have an excellent weekend, and I will uh, see you all on the flip side next week for more videos.